Hey, how you doing? Just give me a sec, we'll get into this. Uh, first, let me take out the recycling. Glad I got that done. I want to talk to you about something that happened this week online. Now, it didn't end up going bad or south, but this could have not been a pleasant experience online. I was browsing Facebook the other evening and I saw a professional friend of mine, an acquaintance more than a friend, uh, but somebody with a public facing persona who should be a leader in our community, who posted, uh, well, I'll, I'll show you the post. He posted, I'll blur out the names of course, he posted something which was fake news, false information, a Photoshop document which supported his personal biases uh, and, and it was all in reaction to the Roseanne Barr situation of Roseanne uh, getting, getting out of control with her racist tweets, losing her show, uh, becoming one of the big news stories of the past week, and, uh, and a lot of people on both sides of the fence feeling hard done by by the situation. He's a baby boomer, he's a mature individual, public profile, I meet him, I see him at conferences occasionally, good guy, but he posts this, and it's wrong. So I, have, I had a decision to make. I can't let it go. I don't think we should let it go. I don't think that the internet becomes a better, safer, more hospitable place if we don't make, if we don't take the hard steps to make it so. So I, I, I'm going to engage him in a conversation. I want to let him know. So I just, I just posted, and, and you could determine whether or not how I did it was correct or not. And I'd love your feedback uh, and suggestions because this is something which you know, kind of have to make a decision each, each step of the way. Now, since I didn't know him very well, I didn't know how he'd react. I could have sent him a private post, a private message, uh, but I didn't want to. I wanted to make it a bit of an object lesson, so I sent him a public comment saying that this was fake news. Uh, I gave him the link to Snopes, which he should have checked before he sent this particular, before he posted this. And, and then I told him that basically he was feeding into the, feeding into the disinformation beast. He was, he was, he was kind of doing their work for him by, by them, by sharing the information. Uh, he shot back at me pretty quickly, not, not super aggressively. This could have degenerated into one of those flame wars, which we all have seen and which I didn't want to get involved in. Uh, but he shot back basically saying that, well, he was justified because Whoopi Goldberg in this particular case uh, says all sorts of inflammatory things on her show and it should be cancelled anyways. And so that's his own personal biases at, at work there. He was defending himself. He was probably a little bit embarrassed by being called out, which, frankly, I'm okay with. Uh, and, uh, and that was the end of it. He took the post down. I sent him a private message thanking him for taking it down. And, uh, and, and I also told him basically, well, you know, you've got to... You know, I, I, I abraded him a little bit. I said, you've got to be more responsible. You've got to be more responsible. And because this is textbook, this sort of a sharing of that particular post is textbook disinformation, is textbook hate, is textbook uh, fake news. So my question to you is, are you engaging in these conversations? When you see somebody posting like that in your circle of influence, be it on Facebook, be it on Twitter, be it on Instagram, when you see somebody taking a misstep that you know is wrong, that you know is something that we can do better than, do you call them out publicly or privately? Do you just unfriend them? Do you just unfollow them? Just let it go away and hope that it goes away? Or do you try and raise the level of consciousness? Uh, it's fraught with challenges. It could have gone, it could have, he could have gotten mad at me. He could have done a lot. I, I don't know if he's still my friend on Facebook or not, and I don't frankly care. He's not somebody that I actually had a relationship with that I valued. Uh, he was an acquaintance, as I said, and more of a professional acquaintance than anything else. But this is not the first time in the last little while that I felt compelled to do this. And I never thought of myself as a as a as a gatekeeper of, of propriety, you know. But it's interesting doing the recycling, you know, just because. Let's bring this into context for a second. When I was a kid growing up. Nobody thought twice of tossing something on the ground and littering. You know, I, I know if you watch Mad Men, I'm, I'm still remember a scene that we saw in Mad Men when the, you know, the guy's having a beer in the park and he just tosses the beer under the tree, the, the empty can under the tree. And I recognize that used to happen all the time. But somewhere our social mores shifted that if somebody was to do that today, somebody would call them out. And it might be a confrontation, but more likely than not, it would just be a thing where the guy apologized and picked it up, hopefully. Uh, but society doesn't accept that anymore those actions from individuals. And for the most part now, we've, we've moved past that. 
we've probably become a little better as a society as a result. The online space doesn't seem to be benefiting from that community value at this point. We're stratifying. And part of the issue is the algorithm. Facebook's algorithm feeds you information that you like, things that support your point of view. So you don't get a lot of the other side. Um, I guess I get this particular feed because we are in the same, some of the same professional associations. So that's the reason that I get his feed more than our political bent is the same. But the bottom line is when you see something like this happen, what is your best advice? How do we react? We have to come up with best practices and, and, and engage in this because I don't think being silent is an answer. I don't think it is the answer. I don't blame you if you do. I don't think that it's, I, I, it's not something I'm going to criticize you for if you don't engage because it's not comfortable to engage. But if you don't engage, if we don't engage, then we aren't going to improve it. And right now, the direction that the world is going, the online world, this is just ultimately, I think, a path towards a worse world. We don't litter anymore. How do we move the needle in online? So what do you do? How do you handle it? I'd love to hear. Do you private message? Do you publicly shame? Do you, are you willing to get into a flame war and get into a shouting match? Uh, I, I tried to take just kind of a mature and responsible approach and it, it worked in this case. It probably it's not going to work in every other case. This isn't the only time this has happened in the last couple of weeks. I have been calling people out on a regular basis when I see my peers live streaming while they're driving. So I've, I think three times in the last two weeks, I've mentioned it and I do it publicly each time. I don't private message them. I do, I call them out publicly and every person has accepted it very well. And two out of the three said, I never even thought of that. That's good. One of them defended themselves and I don't think we, I really reached them. They think that they're a good enough driver that they don't have to worry about it. But in each case, I didn't end up, I think, damaging a relationship, but I could have. They were all relationships that if I had damaged, it wouldn't have been the end of the world for me. I would have been sad, but they, you know, they weren't core family members or core people that I, that, that are really part of my inner circle. But what do you do? How do you handle it today? I want comments below. I want advice. I want to open a dialogue. I want to hear if you are willing to do the hard things online and call out friends, call out colleagues and, uh, and help to improve the moral fiber of the online space. That's the end of that sermon today. <laughs> uh, look for looking for your comments below. If I don't respond to each and every comment personally, don't worry. I do read each and every comment. I can promise you that. If you haven't yet subscribed, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.